I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to go over the first just a little bit more because I can still hear it and it's going to bug me if I don't change it. So give me a little second and I'm going to take that out. Okay, I've removed it. I'm happy. So let's see how it sounds now. Audacity is a program used for recording audio and then editing it. Okay, I'm happy. Now, that little noise click is really annoying me, so let's do another thing. You can record audio and then remove it from your track by doing one simple thing. First, it's so tiny and I don't think I can get my mouse to look at it that close. So first, take up here and go to the zoom in tool. As you can see, it's blowing up the audio track so I can see closer and close to it. So let's go to the very end of it. And you notice I have that tiny little peak. That's the clicking of my mouse. So I'm going to highlight that and just purely click the delete button on my keyboard. Took it completely out. Now, if you want, you can do that with white noise. The only problem with that is, is it completely removes it, so it's going to compress everything together. In this case, since it's the end of the track, I really don't care that much, so I'm just going to delete them straight out. Now, there is another way you can do delete part of your track as well. And the way you do that is by going right up here to the cut tool. As you can see, did basically the same thing as deleting it on the keyboard. So now we have what is in essence a pure audio track of my voice. Audacity is a program used for recording audio and then editing it. I am extremely happy with that. It is pure audio of my voice. So where do we go next? Well, for me, I'm going to show you two things that can come in handy when you're recording audio. One is fade in, one is fade out. Now, fade in, fade out, what do you think it, they're going to do? They're going to fade in the audio so it sounds more natural, so it doesn't sound like all of a sudden it just starts right up. So let's highlight the very beginning of my audio and go to fade in. Basically, it minimizes it so it just sounds a little softer when it's coming in. I'm going to continue that on all the other parts of my audio track. Oops. Now, as you can see, I accidentally clicked fade in when it was supposed to be fading out. All I have to do is control Z. So effect, fade out, perfect. Effect, fade in, effect, fade in, effect, fade out and effect fade out. So let's see what that sounds like now. Audacity is a program used for recording audio and then editing it. I'm pretty happy with that. But you know what? Maybe there's something about your voice that you're just not happy with and you want to change it up. So let's do this. I'm going to highlight all of my track now you can either do it that way, I'm since my track's so short, I just highlighted it using my cursor bar, or you can click on the audio track button over here, just basically click right there and it selects the whole track. So I'm going to go to effects and I'm going to go to change pitch. Now, for me, I'm going to do this. I'm going to make my voice sound a little bit deeper. Now how this works right here is you can either go from pitch right now, so it's saying my pitch is a C sharp to, let's say I want to go to a, let's go to a G. Let's see how that sounds. Audacity is a program used for recording audio and then editing it. Makes my voice sound like a chipmunk. Makes me feel so much better about myself. <laughs> so you don't like that, again, control Z. Now when it comes to the change pitch, I honestly just like going down here to the scroll bar. I mean, it's the same thing as going up here and messing with that going to notes. If you're a more musical person and you understand notes, you can use that. I am not, I'm not gonna try to hide it. I really, I took maybe a year piano lessons and that's about it. That's about as much music as I know, so sorry folks. I'm going to go the simple route. I'm going to use the scroll bar. <laughs> so I want my voice to sound heck of a lot deeper. So I went percent change negative 20. 
Let's listen to that now. Audacity is a program used for recording audio and then editing it. Sounds like I have a smoker's lung. Great. <laughs> so, you kind of understand how Audacity works. You kind of understand that basic concept behind it. And really, guys, I could go on forever showing you each individual effect and I can't do that. I don't have the time to show you it. Plus, they're always introducing new things on the Audacity website. So my best suggestion for you is just experiment. Take time and go over each one. Most of them are explanatory in the explanation. Amplify, bass boost, change pitch, change the speed, change the tempo. Just go in and mess with it. Have fun with it. You can create very professional sounding audio tracks just by going in and messing around with it. Audacity, like I said, is very easy to use. It's very user friendly and almost anyone can use it. So, my best suggestion for you, mess around. Have fun. But, if for some reason you're not happy with it, here's what I'm going to recommend you do. Go on your internet, explore whatever you use, Google Chrome, whatever, and go to www.google. Google.com. Okay, on Google, you can either type in Audacity, or if you just want to go straight to the Audacity webpage, type in audacity.sourceforge.net. Now, if you go to Audacity, it's going to pull you up to the Audacity homepage. What you want to do, go to the About tab. Now, within the About tab, if I can find it, looks like they might have moved it. Ah, here it is. They moved it. <laughs> right here. The wiki. The wiki can be your best friend. The wiki gives you so much information about Audacity. It's created by the Audacity team, and you can do so much. As you can see, I was kind of looking up. With Audacity, you can create MP3s, create CDs, podcast ringtones, put songs on your iTunes and iPod. It shows you how to use audio from a microphone, from a CD, anything. Use the Wikipedia if you are confused or don't know what to do. I sometimes come to it myself. Plus, the internet is full of people who are doing stuff exactly like me. Don't feel scared to go onto it and ask someone on some webpage, hey, how do you do this on Audacity? Trust me, you're going to find what you need and it's going to help you out. Again, main page, audacity.sourceforge.net, and the wiki is right on the front page. Okay. I hope this has showed you a basic in-look on how to use Audacity, guys. And really, Audacity is so handy for doing school projects, doing college projects if you're at that level, and even doing small business stuff. It's really helpful. So don't feel scared to use it. Go to audacity.sourceforge.net and download it for your computer and just have fun with it. Until next time, this is Justin and Justin's TikTok signing off.